Can you hear that? That's the sound of my neighbor knocking because I started up Victoria 2 and it's bursting out my eardrums. Why is the game always so loud? <sighs> I really spent way too long not doing anything. The game, the campaign, the EU4 campaign, we have converted it over. The British Empire still exists, the Americas still exist and honestly nothing has changed here over the past 500 years. Prussia is number eight. You know what? I wasn't thinking of playing R Prussia but I think it could be fun. Yeah. Let's check out Prussia. We might be able... Okay, we are not gonna be able to form Germany. <laughs> I mean, there's just half of Sweden is Germany at this point. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> my layout. <laughs> I'm not speedrunning Pikmin today, so... God, I've not used live speed in such a long time. There we go, that's ki kind of what I wanted. Wow, we've already played 8 minutes of Victoria 2 and time really does fly, huh? Feels like I've not played any Victoria 2 yet. Swedish conquest of Anhalt. I actually, I do kind of want that piece of land. Let's turn on crises from the start. Yeah, I do like localized names. For us, we can unite the Baltics. Then I can get Wachtamagain, uh, reclaim Poland. Oh, I also have claims here and, oh, I do have a core, which is a bit scary since Sweden is, Sweden is my current uh, main rival, I guess. That does explain quite a few things. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Um, Paradox Converter... Wait, Wick 2 to EU4? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's uh, at the end of Europa Universalis instead of the Mega Grand Campaign. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. 17 minutes have passed and we can finally boot into the game. I'm still a bit disappointed that uh, Spain is only 88 and they are partially westernized. But hey, I'm at least uh, number 19 and... Da, 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 da. Okay, in terms of research... Uh, yeah, let's first go for medicine. We have ugh, not a lot of literacy, so we will want to spec into this stuff, but um, hmm. beating Sweden will be interesting. Nazantara or Malaya, as they're called now, will also be interesting. Yeah, uh, that was one of the things where I was like, okay, that that's bullshit. Should I tag switch over? Yeah, let's tag switch over. Is it tag MLY? Perfect. And then research points, some number, mm. there we go. They are now a westerner, this, a civilized nation, number five on the GP scale. And then let's see, tag spa, aha. Because I'm gonna be honest, these two nations should be westernized. Maybe not Spain, you can make the argument that they lost so hard that they aren't westernized anymore. France is a great power, why? I forgot about something that I wanted to do. Let's take a look at our pops. 30% animist, that's a lot. All right, I also wanted to check with Malaya in particular. 3% an illusion should be only because of this one province. Oh well, the few things over here. And they are losing money. Oh my god. <laughs> is it because of army and navy? Okay, it is because of navy. Yeah. I would actually be kind of pissed if I had to play these guys. I guess the colonial power also doesn't help. I don't think I need to do anything to crush Malaya. <laughs> oh, they will probably fall. They will fall on their own. And then Spain is also doing horrendously. We don't care about either of them. We care about Prussia today. I am a little bit scared playing here. I would like to ally the Byzantines. They are very nice here. And then with them we can hopefully take uh, the Baltics from Sweden and then also Poland, which I guess is Lithuania in this case. And then later on we might be able to take German land, but I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm good enough here. Let's see. Yeah, I fucking hate it. Why do we have socialist parties? The Nationale Partei is the most interesting one. We have jingoism, we have state capitalism and protectionism, yeah. 
Okay, perfect. Education is important. Administration is important. Military is not important. I'm playing a military nation. God, would you look at that? We're making bank. Reclaim Poland. Oh, I can do it. I can reclaim Poland. What does it? What does it do? What does it do? What is? What's gonna happen? Let me just. No more No more wall. Is disarmed. Any province in the region West Preussen, Posen, Opoli, Katowice, the German Empire. I just got five infant. There we go. Modesty and restraint. Ah, it's probably because we're not a German Empire. We can't take the decision, but it doesn't matter because we're not a German Empire. We're Prussia. Really putting the Russia and Prussia here. Wait. You're not allied to anybody. Ooh, ooh. Conquest. I'm boxed in with the Byzantines and Sweden. I either fight... Actually, yes, I'm still boxed in with Sweden and the Byzantines. So I need either this piece or this piece and then I can move into Germany. I'm no longer allied to Sweden. <laughs> because I took the decision earlier where I gained cause, but I did not gain cause. I'm in your sphere? Okay, they sphered me. Perfect. So they can't deck on me. The Roman Republic. The what now? The Roman Republic. No, that's Istria. Verona? Oh. Roman Venetia. Uh, you're not really Venice. <laughs> Fair enough. I let it slide. Uh, can I gain mill access? Can I get an alliance from you? No, because it's of you. Okay, that's, that's dandy. That's perfect. Okay, I thought Prussia would be fun, but honestly, what is a man supposed to do? Modivina? Uh, no, I actually thought about conquering you. There we go. First war of the game. They are going to mobilize the entire <laughs> country. And would you look at that, we've won. Yay, we've grown. And I can already kill one of the hussars and... We're number nine. I've not done anything. <laughs> I've attacked one nation <laughs> and built a few troops. Oh my god. Oh my god, if I can overtake Sweden, I can sphere them and they are one of the producers of machine parts. Yes, 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 yes. Which is also why I'm not making anything right now. Uh, because we are bound to the Swedish market and so we can't get... I don't like those troops here. I don't like those troops here at all. Twangste. That is... One way to say Kaliningrad or Kravulec. Uh, there we go. Yeah, let's also go for a canned food factory here. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. We can wake up. We can finally play him. That one factory is doing a ton for us. Oh my god, what a Britain. Six prestige, 12, uh, uh, 12 military with mobilized troops and only 14 i mean 14 industry is still quite something early on we will soon become a great power come on we are no longer a great power seven <laughs> we just jumped from nine to seven like the the lower levels are such a fight there's three great powers here <laughs> that's just too much that is legitimately too much okay the I got the Deutschland lead, but <laughs> that's... I, <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> I know I'm Prussia, but like, the only German land I own is Königsberg. And even then, that's just Prothenian. <laughs> I, I am <laughs> not German. <laughs> and I'm also not Prussian. Seriously, I'm just Russian. Lithuania. Atmosphere. Thank you. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to discredit Sweden. No, it's not discredit. Uh, uh, oh, was it? De it was decrease of pinion. There we go. They are now cordial. Remove from sphere. And we got another 10 infamy. I should just reload. Save scum for infamy. Oh no, we are losing our great power status. But I can change this. We are going to go to war and then everything is gonna be fine. I mean, honestly, I am just playing Russia. Russia with less land. None of my allies would accept. Can I get Sweden? You would not. You would not. But it's gonna be quite a war. They want Moscow? You're not gonna get anything from me. I mean, you might, but you're not gonna get anything from me. Okay, let's leave you here. These armies are in their own 
land they will regenerate more quickly or reinforce more quickly god why are there so many oh fuck i didn't uh, i didn't pay attention that i thought they were gonna attack me in a forest France wants an alliance with Prussia. That is not something I expected to ever see. Perfect! <laughs> it only took like 200k pounds and most of the army and oh my god everything is dying. Boom. Let's demobilize. Ooh, we are in a red split. That's not good. <laughs> oh well. That just adds to the chaos. Yesterday I spent two hours fixing borders up a little bit mainly just cleaned up a little bit gave stuff to Yaros level the AHRE I split it up between blobs since historically it would have made more sense for them to unite the whole point of the historical HRE was we have an emperor and the emperor sort of protects everyone so there's a reason why small nation states are uh, exist but with Sweden pretty much owning the empire I feel like it would make more sense for them to unite so I tried to give everyone a little bit uh, Italy has also formed that's not something I did but I gave them uh, Caresia I think there was one OPM here you know minor stuff like that while I was tag switching over Transconcasia popped out of the Byzantines which uh, yeah I just left it <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just gain a f I just get a free CV? I just get a free CV. Yo, jingoism is busted. There's no way. Oh. We have containment against the Byzantines. Swabia, Luxembourg and Bavaria. Oh, I already took Bavaria. Nice. So, I will take Swabia and Luxembourg. Luxembourg, I think is better. Yes, but also no. If I join this war now, I'm just gonna get fucked. I think they took some decision. <laughs> 960 in for me. Okay, uh, I hope I don't forget this after the, after the war to fix the infamy thing. You know what? for the puppet one. Ooh, 1 1.6 infamy. That is, ah, that is nice considering what we had to go through for uh, the last few rolls. Ooh, plus 24k prestige, the Greek empire, okay. It took quite some time for this old empire to finally kick the bucket, so, so that's at least something. Cherokee wants an alliance from me. Weird trade offer. <laughs> The great Prussian army is not really great anymore. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Victoria 2 podcast. If you are still here, then I'm sorry for you. <gasps> Wait, oh, we can build machine parts. Let's go. I mean, we don't really need it anymore because we have a decent economy now, but hey, it's still good. Uh, Hannover, Luxembourg, and Jaroslav. Perfect. Nah, shame. For shame. For the revolution. We have too many fronts. Okay, wait a minute. Um, that's seriously why I did not want these two to group up together. I don't think you're Finnish nationalists at this point. <laughs> you're a bit misplaced. Then again, I am Prussia right now, so who am I to talk? Why is there a level 13 clothes factory here? And why is it making money without anyone working in there? 2,000 employees is still something, but... Which means I can stop promoting Rick and Morty fans and go to clocks. There's one per... <laughs> a single person is living there. I... Wow. So I guess these two just broke up. Yeah, Jesus, that's the third province with just one guy. 
Okay, I guess, yeah. Do you have a truth with... You do not. Oh my god. What's up with the French army? I'm gonna join, but... If the Greeks join, I have to... Dip straight up. Egypt wants to be my friend. Yes, please. I will gladly oblige that request. I'm happy you chose me as your friend. Even though I'm banned. I don't know where the sweets will pop up. Oh, right. I can call you in. Boop, 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 boop. Bavarian Franconia. Yeah, but I mean, that's nice and all, but that's not what I want, you know? I want something else. Uh, there we go. Can we take... Okay, we can also take reparations from Hungary. Perfect. Boom. I mean, we'll need it anyway. Ethnic Union of Luxembourg. Flanders! Ooh! That's fancy. I like that it, so many countries are changing their flags. Uh, tags. I mean, I guess they're also changing their flags. You know, we got Czechoslovakia. They got bigger again. Ooh! Scramble for Africa! <laughs> no idea why they were uh, at odds with Ottomans. Oh, I have, I have range now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Would you look at that? The Tomboy Empire, formerly known as Hispania, known as Spain, has gone back to their roots as Andalusia. <laughs> this whip cracks out of love. <laughs> Let's go. That's based. Ooh, Azab from... Cool. But two infamy. I got a colony! Ooh! Let's go! I mean, the... Fish province is absolutely useless and there's only 10,000 people there, but... Ooh, my first colony! We're a big player now! Let's go! And we have a crisis. Let's go. This might be a huge... Oh my god! <laughs> I thought Mali would become free! I thought, you know, I thought like, okay, Mali gets like this. No, Mali gets everything off this and Wolof is split up. <laughs> That's so thrilling, this gameplay, don't you think? Okay, I guess we'll go back to war. I'm just slaughtering my population right now. And also my economy. Cumania... No... Right, I legitimately almost forgot about France. Ooh, what about you? I feel like Mexico would be kind of nice. Would you be down in helping me in this small little skirmish I'm having right now? Oh, you would, perfect. They probably won't be doing anything, but it doesn't matter. It only matters that they are here, you know? I just need them as moral support. No. Can you stop with your stupid little wars against Hannover, man? Right, let's join this war then as well. Okay, no troops anymore, that's fine. I seriously just left my troops here. Actually! Horrendous play, Austria. Horrendous play. Do need a second general, though. <laughs> There's are too many fronts. Aha! I knew it was gonna happen. It's just, a, it's just a lot. This is, for me, it's pretty much an entire front war. Like I'm, I'm pretty much encircled. Bro, I'm fighting for you. Come on, perfect. Oh, okay. So the Hungarians are now out of this war. God. I'm bleeding. It just doesn't stop. And I'm slowly running out of money. Greek Istria. Nope. I will. I'll peace out. 
All right, uh, so now we can demob and probably rebuild the army once more. Keynight viewers might have realized something. The entire purpose of this war was to defend Cumania from getting annexed. And now if you look at the map, it was all pointless. But hey, we became number one great power. And immediately got rewarded with rebels. Ah. Ugh. We just got out of this war. And we have a nice little new decision. After seeing what the Prussians have done for their Slavic products. Original timeline they are not, but this timeline the majority of people from Prussia are Russian. For this, in this timeline, Prussian people are Slavic. After seeing what Prussia has done for the Slavic people, the Slavic nation has come to agreement that maybe it would be better to stand united. And thus, we will take the decision form underscore Russia underscore title. The country will change to the Prussian Empire. We will gain Russian and Ugrian as an accepted culture. And boom, we are now the Prussian Empire. We also inherited our former puppet of Yaroslavl. We have also, we can take it another time. We can also claim Siberia and set an expansion focus. And also just ignore these few <laughs> decisions. I pretty much just took the decisions for um, divergences of darkness, Muscovy, to form Russia. And we lose no culture from our exceptional cultures. I have fixed a few things. Number one. I laid the Russian and the Prussian flag over. This is the flag that turned out. So it's an approved flag of what a Prussian Russia would look like. And in the meantime, I also found out if the scramble for Africa begins, you can annex any sphered African nation, which is also what happens to Egypt in every game, I think. Uh, th th that's something I only just read on Reddit, so it might not be true, but it, it checks out. North German Federation. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Th that was Hannover. W why did they form North Germany? I guess I just am going insane, am I? Okay, Norland is gone. I really don't know why I can't finish off the... Malmö industry. It, it, like, that almost feels like a bug. But I know I don't know enough about Vicky to say something like that, you know. It's probably some very obscure mechanic that I just don't know. For example, capitalists that are just keeping them up. Once I have sieged Karlstadt out and the industry in Göteborg is gone, we can think about ending this war. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah. Fine. A few big boats. I pressed space. The Greeks again. The Greeks again. So, this is just... yeah. No, the Greeks are and Malaya. <laughs> Ugh. North Carolina. You seriously need my help here, huh? Oh my god, you do. Why is... <laughs> Why is every great power so useless? Like the Greeks and Malaya are the only ones with a decent mill score. And I can't get either of them. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that we got gas attack. There is hope. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I was about to say, okay, uh, Alaska makes sense, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> God, why is my front so huge? 
I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm bleeding so much money. Oh my god. Minus two from the crossing. Wait a minute. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I think. Yes. Look at this. I'm a genius general. No. I guess we will become socialists now. I legitimately cannot afford killing my own pops right now. I could mobilize and they're attacking my population. Let's help them, I guess. <laughs> I got dig in. <laughs> I got to dig in while they were fighting. That's nice. <laughs> That's the third socialist uprising. <laughs> oh my god. My country is burning. No. The fourth socialist uprising. Bro. <laughs> I feel like at some point you must be like... At some point you must realize that you can just straight up enforce your demands. I shall burn your entire industry down. Oh, there we go. We have... Socialists now. We, we we are socialists now and we just lost our cool name. A war to end all wars. Yes, a site that is clearly winning can add more war goals now. You know what? <laughs> that was just 170 industry score. And then we can deck on Riazon for restore order. We get all cores, which is everything. Perfect. They're not allied with anybody. Wait, I miscalculated. I thought they had a border here. Uh, we're not in a stable uh, spot right now. Oh, commies now. At least there's not many commies. Annex Nigeria. Annex Benin. Oh, I lost my stuff on the house. Uh, that probably just expired, huh? Oh. <laughs> Come on! How, how socialist do you want this country to be? 32.6 million people in Russia right now. We can change this very easily. Oh god, I forgot. I, d I don't even have a connection to the Black Sea. Bryansk! 212,000 people that are not employed. <laughs> no, no. Sure, let's go for the factory. Factory cost. Oh, sad state of affairs. All our loans have been cleared. We have been forced to declare bankruptcy. <laughs> prestige, we just lost like 500 prestige. Oh, <laughs> Czechoslovakia wants Masovia. I didn't want Masovia anyway. Fourth, Swedish liberation of Hannover. Yes, they'll finally get their wish. And you, come on. <laughs> Russian reactionaries, cool. Seriously, do I have to seat you out completely? <laughs> and uh, it looks like Russia is burning. It's all burning to the ground. <laughs> Seriously? Oh god, my population. Keeps on giving, huh? There we go. There we go. A lot has happened. We had a minor insignificant nation of Prussia that used to be under the yoke of the Swedes. In EU4 they broke free and in Vic2 they beat the Swedes into secondary power status multiple times. Over the last few years we had to defend against the third Swedish liberation of Hannover which then led into the Greeks declaring a great war on us. But 
it ultimately backfired where we got our cores on the Uralsk region back. The Malayans joined them. We finally defeated our arch enemy and we also took Siberia from them. Not all of it, but most of it. We got a few minor Russian nations that we gobbled up, at least partially for our cores. Near the end, Czechoslovakia saw how weak we were after the Swedish liberation and the Great War and they took advantage of it to get their Masovian provinces back and Sweden similarly took Hanover finally from the North German Confederation which is now split in twine. Andalusia hasn't really done anything. <laughs> Neither has the Americas. The Incans just gobbled up small land. The Mexicans gobbled up a little bit of land here and there, but they haven't really done too much. The uh, North American nations kind of fought against each other a little bit. Greenland got turned into a satellite a puppet for infamy reduction from Sweden. France completely united the land and formed Italy or helped form Italy, freed them from the Greeks. And in the Great War, we also took a short occupation of the Greek land as reparations for destroying our economy and our manpower. But ultimately, this led to the downfall of the Russian Empire, which was overthrown multiple times. The Russian people are still in revolt to this day, just waiting for a weakness. Similarly, the African Empire of Russia has collapsed and most likely will collapse over the coming years. And with this, I think we can turn away from Victoria too and move on to Hearts of Iron to finish this mega campaign off.